first time you go skipping, you open the skip and you're like, you've got to be kidding me. This amount of food, hang on, what's going on? You can find like 150 pounds worth of food in a skip for one night, which could feed you and your friends all week. Obviously a lot of stigma with getting food out of the bin, understandably. But then when people realise how much goes to waste, it really opens up the imagination in terms of, hang on, what's going on? A little bit intimidating at first. I wouldn't have done it myself, I don't think, but having other people there with me was quite, it was, was nice, because they'd obviously done it before. I've been in the skip, like, taking my food past and, you know, some junkie will be walking past or, like, oh, the homeless guy will be looking at me and be like, what are you doing? Like, get out of there, that's disgusting, like, and so, like, the, it seems to me that the person, like, somebody like that who, who, who might need it more than, more than I do is totally horrified at the idea of me doing this. Like, I think it's great for anyone to skip because none of that food should be going to waste. Being a freegan is basically based on the principles of trying to use as little as little as possible and the kind of anti-consumerist lifestyles. I live in a very wealthy and a very um, beneficial society, like where I have all my health care, I have a roof over my head. I think it's just ethically responsible, really, to pay attention to where your stuff comes from, to who you're affecting when you buy things or by the actions that you take. You get a big range of food. Um, a lot, a lot of it is pre-packaged sandwiches. You do get meat, you get vegetables, especially in the summer there's more vegetables, loads of bread and pastries. You can actually eat relatively healthily from the skip, but it's not guaranteed. Like You don't know what you're going to get every time you go. Skipping is a very important act um, and using this waste product, but it's also like with the food industry, we really need to support our local um, businesses and agriculture as well. Tesco, for example, like when they have a buy one get one free offer like on farming products, it's the farmers that take the brunt of the price cut, not, not Tesco. In the majority of cases, the food that is in supermarkets is industrially produced. We now have this insane disconnection from our food. You go and buy meat, it's nicely filleted, like wrapped in a nice little packet. It's got sell-by dates on it, and so people believe the sell-by dates and they pay attention to that instead of actually smelling or looking at the food themselves. So even in people's bins in their kitchen, food gets thrown away that, yeah. that is still edible. Industrial modes of production of food is the single biggest contributor to climate change. Rainforests have been cut down for grazing lands. Huge monoculture crops being, being produced with a lot, lot of chemical fertilizers. Also, the shipping of the foods around the world. Like, when I go out of that skip and I'll pull out a small packet of raspberries you know, in the winter that's been flown in from South Africa. Uh, and, you know, it's advertising on it. It's like, look, you know, we've, we've gone and gone all the way to South Africa to bring you these raspberries. But it's not just the raspberries, it's everything, you know, all this stuff that we, we, we could produce here at this time of year that's, you know, just cheaper to import from New Zealand or Ethiopia. This isn't too bad, like... When, when you've just got a bag of rolls like this, but of, often you'll find like most of the, you'll get bags and bags full of like something like this, but it's all pre-packaged sandwiches and it's all like wrapped in cellophane. So when you actually take the bags of stuff home, you separate out the food from what you have, and you have like a much, much bigger pile of plastic than you do of food. As far as general people walking down the street, it's always positive. Um, and in fact, a lot of people end up taking some food away. 
fuck are you doing inside a bin? Um, so we're like, well, look at all this food that we're getting. Like, this is all completely edible. And they're like, you can, you can still eat that. And I've sent quite a lot of people away with, like, either just a little packet of sushi or a big bag of food. Like, and they normally take something away. It does build awareness, like, when people see you doing it, which is um, really exciting. I've never had anyone, like, slag me off for, for getting into a bin. There isn't actually any laws against skipping. It comes under, under the you know, theft by finding law that, the, that it belongs to the person that's thrown it away. There's one particular place that I do go skipping where um, the guy loves us and like, he's a manager of a big chain supermarket. Nice. Yes. Some places will actually deliberately put food dye into the skips, like blue food dye, um, and you'll come out with all these blue hands in order to try and stop us doing it. But it doesn't stop anyone. No, it up. I would actually quite happily give up the, the obvious bonus of free food if our food was being produced in a socially just and ethical manner, but it's not. And I actually once worked for a charity in the States that um, collected the food. The supermarkets brought the food that they were going to throw out around and we, you know, redistributed it into boxes and gave it to the homeless and um, refugees and like people that needed it. If we could do something like that where supermarkets agreed to you know, give the food to shelters or to um, an organisation that actually, you know, either cooked it, recooked it and redistributed it, then, I mean, that would be a far more effective way of actually using the waste. I've never met someone outside of Skip who, once you have a discussion about it, doesn't completely agree that it's too much waste. Everyone thinks it's revolting how much waste. That's what's revolting, not just getting a few banana peels on your feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>